sister, sister Slay, you guys, this, this is the definition of what marketing should look like in 2020. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Can I just say bravo? Um, if you guys are new to my channel, what's up? My name's Jade. I am a 18 year old entrepreneur and I teach a lot about digital marketing. I have a few businesses about social media. So, you know, as someone who appreciates the business and the art, I think Melanie Martinez is just that God given child that has that that has those two. If you have been living underneath a rock, Melanie Martinez is a singer and she created not only a music video, but a movie. I'm really nervous about it, but finally I, I found my voice within it and now I just finished you know, writing and directing my first feature film. And as you know, I really like to break down strategies that filmmakers and producers and creatives use to make their projects a success. So we as creators can learn from it and maybe apply it to our own. And let me tell you, I was legit taking notes this on this video. Like this video came out yesterday and I have a fucking little journal to document everything that I learned because I had to literally pause the video multiple times to just to intake the the breathtaking art and trust me i don't even give a shit about melanie martinez like i didn't really hear about her till like recently i mean i heard her songs in like 2016 but like she came back with a banger i really appreciate the art and i think it's genius because i feel like something that i'm really frustrated is everyone is copycatting you know the same trends you know everyone isn't thinking outside the box and i think marketing is about being unpredictable so if you want to stand out grow a brand we got to learn from our girl melanie Ma what's her name we got to learn from our girl melanie martinez and that's what we're gonna break down if you want to know more all you can do is keep on watching all right guys so i actually wrote down nine points for this video but i'm only gonna break down three if you guys want to see more i'll be leaving it to my exclusive messenger group i'll link it below if you want to join the the group chat. So to give you context, this movie is all about growing up and going to school. And from kindergarten to 12th grade, you are taught to be in a system, to not think for yourselves, to be a product of a society. And I know it's a stereotypical storyline, but the fact that it's a freaking movie for like her album is just so ingenious. And they use very specific film techniques to portray this message. One being flashbacks. First thing I wrote down that I really noticed from this movie that made it so, so good is the flashbacks and what a flashback is is it goes from one scene to another typically from the present to the past and you can see this periodically throughout of the movie for example there's a scene where she's like singing her song and it would go back and forth from like her singing it to like what's happening in the movie when she's in her dreams people start like twitching and bleeding and and there's a lot of things that are like really off that you can tell it's a dream i think metaphorically melanie's trying to say like in our minds we always make everything more dramatic and and we have our own fantasies in our minds because in reality people keep saying us our dreams are fake it's not real we can't do it so she has like a safe space in her in her mind i really appreciate the fact that they did that because when you do flashbacks you actually learn a little bit more about the character a really good example if you're trying to hello all right that was my client texting me let me reply to that <laughs> now you're like okay cool jay like i'm not a film director why would i use flashbacks in my regular youtube or instagram post now listen sweetie what i'm trying to imply is you might not be able to replicate her dreams which are very extravagant in fx and literally weird as fuck but if you're someone who wants to play on these things, you know, tell your audience maybe your goals, maybe what you envision that aren't real, whether that's through an Instagram story, like you're just talking or in a your your, your <laughs> or like in your YouTube video, you just mentioned what you have goals for the next year. Like, what do you envision? Um, really, really tap in to your childhood self, which leads me to point number two. Holy shit, this movie is so funny because in a weird way, these are all adults that are acting, but they act like little kids. They're tapping into their inner child. There's a scene in the movie where Melanie fights with this character that's like the mean girl, and they basically are like in a cat fight, you know, the principal's like separating them, but it's very childish, but the fight itself was for a very mature reason, right? Or like things that adults would still have. The, what I love about this film, like it's just so bipolar because it's like children fighting, but people are like stabbing each other, which I think is kind of fun. 
Sorry, I'm kind of crazy. Anyways, what I've noticed in this film is when you tap into your inner childhood, I don't know why you have this like a warm sense of feeling of nostalgia. I really felt that as a viewer, you know, kind of thinking back when I was a kid fighting with that bitch from, you know, seventh grade. When we're able to go to our past and think, it makes us a lot more loyal to the film. We think about it more. And when you think about things more, you want to share it. And like, this is why I'm making this fucking video because it made me feel some sort of way. And I know that's a stupid and more like abstract advice to make your audience think but do you know how many unpurposeful content out there in the world there's so much garbage out there in regards to content that's just recycled shit and no one's really thinking outside the box just to summarize this we're all brainwashed to not you know stand up for ourselves or or have a bigger message and this film really 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 does that so i really appreciate anything that's going to try to progress humanity versus make us stagnant so if you're so far enjoying my just like my art hoe coming out. I don't know. I love film so much. Make sure you give this video a like. I'm definitely not a film analyst from my marketing perspective and from a storytelling side. I hope this is helpful to anyone who just wants that breakdown because I just think it's so fascinating. You can tell that like no one really gets me, so I'm just trying to see if anyone here gets it. But yeah, let me know if you can comment below and you get excited for films or content, or maybe you are starting to love the psychology behind things. Just let me know if this is at all interesting. I, I would really appreciate it. So I'm gonna move on to the last tip I have, and then I had to cut it close because there's literally like six more. If you wanna know the six more things, again, I will link below my exclusive group chat. I typically keep this a secret, but since you guys are here already and you're, it's almost the end of the video, I wanna thank you. So if you wanna apply to join the group and all that fun stuff, I will link it below. So I'm gonna just shut the fuck up because I'm never gonna talk about it again. Number three, the metaphors. Metaphors are basically, what act, wait, what actually is a metaphor? <laughs> My dropout self doesn't even know what a metaphor. Metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action which is not literally applicable. So what I mean by metaphors is Melanie is just a legend at using them. There's a scene where she gives her pair of eyes to her friend because her friend was struggling with her body image. And physically, you can't rip out your eyes and hand it to your friend. That's really scary and freaky but it kind of shows melanie saying hey i know you see yourself as ugly fat but look at it from my eyes look at it from someone else's because when you look at yours through your own point of view it's distorted and that was really powerful because one first of all the effects are so realistic and sound design is beautiful but secondly, that's so deep. And I'm like thinking in my head, like how often do I look at my body or my business or myself as a failure? But if I only had another set of eyes, I would probably think I'm fine and I'm okay. This is so relatable. And these metaphors are just a creepy, freaky way of you know uh, messaging that. And I think that's just so powerful. So whether you want to rip out your eyes in your next film or another way is just to subtly make points by using other objects i think that can really exaggerate our message all right so that's just one example my next favorite hands down metaphor in this movie was when the entire school was watching a play these kids are watching this play but instead of being like normal humans and reacting to it they were just smiling all freakishly kind of like this and Melanie is basically saying, guys, wake up. Why can't you wake up? Like Melanie's looking at her friends and they're all brainwashed to watch this play like freakily smiling. It kind of is a metaphor that our schools are training these kids, especially to to smile the pain away. Like even if they don't want to be watching this you know teacher talk they're gonna have to be there in their seat and i don't know i related to this a lot because i remember guys you no know, i'm obviously <laughs> um coming from an asian background and i was told that i had to be super super smart and i'm just not a good test taker don't get me wrong i was in calculus when i was a freshman i took really aggressive classes and all ap's but i'm not a test taker like i i don't know why i can break down and give you a presentation of spine derivatives or all that fun stuff but when it came to like taking tests i don't know why i don't learn in that way like i don't learn when it's trivial i don't like the fact that a multiple choice answer 
if I don't click the one right one, I, I'm screwed as fuck. And I don't know about you guys at your school, but when I was in middle school, I remember my teacher would line up everybody by their GPA from like the zero to like the 4.0. And of course I am like the 3.2 GPA because I'm not that smart. And it was just so segregated and I didn't like that. I'm like, everyone should be equal because what my teacher would do is line up everybody. So the top GPA would choose where they wanted to sit. So basically the people who had not a good GPA had to sit in like a shitty area of the class. And of course, I'm the one that's like in the corner. So I really felt out of place. I remember seeing my group of friends just like huddle in their groups and the smart people would just, you know, alienate me. I, I would remember thinking to myself, is there something wrong with me? And I am in awe about anyone who's able to take that message and bring it to life in video form. So Melanie, I want to, first of all, applaud your production team for executing that message that, you know, students should be able to think for themselves. And we're not, you know, valued by the color of our skin or the grade that we have, but it's who we are. And I applaud Melanie for doing so. You guys, I just hope this video can help anyone who's not even a filmmaker, but anyone who has a message to use metaphors, to use techniques as in, you know, flashbacks or being childhood and being, and I hope these tips can empower you to make something amazing. I wanna thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe. This is the Dharma Nation. It's gonna be the family of content creators ambitious creatives and um i love to have you in our club and i'll catch you guys very soon make sure you follow me on instagram i have my own instagram and i also have my company's instagram so if you want to follow the journey as an entrepreneur i love to have you and let me know your thoughts shout out to the comment winner If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I'll catch you guys very, 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 very soon. And I'm going to go ahead and record the next six um, points I had for my group because there's still a lot more. So I have to leave very soon. I love you guys so, so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.